Today is Monday of the fourth week of Easter. Our gospel today continues yesterday's gospel. Jesus telling us that he is the good shepherd, that he opens the gate for us, that he wants to be watchful over us, and he asks us to come to know his voice so that we can follow him. How do we come to know his voice? We can come to know his voice by speaking in his voice. If we speak with truth and speak truthfully, we'll be able to hear truth. If we speak with compassion, we'll learn to hear with compassion. If we learn to speak with fear, we're going to hear fear. If we're going to speak with paranoia, we're going to hear paranoia. This is so prevalent in our culture today. You and I have to learn to let go of the fear, to hear with voices of truthfulness and compassion. Jesus says something very important right at the end of yesterday's gospel. He promises us fuller and more abundant life. How do you and I come into that fuller and more abundant life? Well, we follow him, the good shepherd. We learn his voice, we speak with his voice, and he brings the goodness that only he can bring into our lives. You may know that I've spent any number of years overseas in different countries, learning different languages, trying to serve the people of those countries. Just over a year ago, I spent a month in Japan. It was a wonderful month. I saw many wonderful things and met many wonderful people. I saw the great Buddha in the city of Kamakura, south of Tokyo on the ocean. It was built at the time that Thomas Aquinas was writing the Summa Theologia, 800 years ago, and the statue has sat there since then. I met a group of Japanese students in Ueno Park. They came up to me while I was sitting on a bench, and they wanted to practice their English. We had a wonderful conversation. And then, of course, I had some Japanese ramen in a ramen shop. And I bought myself a bowl to commemorate my trip, a very simple bowl but a wonderful reminder. Now, at my age, of course, I ask myself, how many more such trips will I be able to take? Well, I don't know. But I do know that Jesus the Good Shepherd will lead me in the best possible way for me and for the people I might encounter or the people I might serve. And I realized recently, as I was looking through my photos, that even if I don't travel again, I have so many wonderful, wonderful memories. And they're memories that are blessed by Jesus' presence, by Jesus' action in my life. So perhaps today, you might want to ask yourself, are you hearing his voice? Are you speaking with his voice? Are you serving his people? Especially in this time of pandemic, when there's so much need, need for voices of compassion, Voices that speak without fear. Voices that bring the very best of who he is, the very best of who we are, to the people around us. So perhaps you could take a few moments today and ask yourself, what are the blessings of your life? In what way has Jesus blessed you, brought those blessings into your life? And are you speaking with his voice? Are you hearing his voice? And how do you want to bring the very best of who you are into our world today? This will be time well spent because he wants to bring his peace and his truth and his justice to our entire world. And he encounters us and engages us to be that presence, his peaceful and compassionate and just presence in our world today.